Hello guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure static routing. As you can see, this is the network. It's composed of two routers, two switches, and four PCs. I wrote the IP address of each element next to it to help you understand better. Now let's set these IP addresses. First, double-click the first router. Then, in the Config tab, go to the interface that connects the router to the second router. Enable the connection, then assign the IP address. Next, go to the second interface that connects to the switch, click on it, and assign the IP address. Close the window, and let's configure the second router. Select the first interface, enable the connection, and assign the IP address. Then, go to the second interface that connects to the switch, enable the connection, and assign the IP address as well. Now let's configure the PCs. Click the first PC, go to Desktop, then IP Configuration. Set the IP address of the PC and for the default gateway, put the IP address of the router that connects to the switch. Let's repeat the exact same steps with the second PC. For the other two PCs, do the same. Go to IP Configuration, assign the IP address, and in the default gateway, put the IP address of the second router. Repeat the same steps for the last PC. Now let's test the connection between the PCs. As you can see, the connection works between the PCs of the same network. But when we try communication between PCs from different networks, it fails. To fix that, we have to configure the connection between the two routers. Go to the first router. In config, go to static. In network, put the network address of the interface that connects the second router to the switch. The mask is 255255255250. In next hop, put the IP address of the neighbor router's interface, then click Add. As you can see, the network address is added. Now close the window and go to the second router. Do the same. Put the network of the interface that connects the first router to the switch. The mask is 255255255250. And for the next hop, put the IP address of the neighbor router. Then click Add. Close the window and let's wait a bit for the configuration to take effect. Now, let's test the connections again. As you can see, everything works as it should. Found this useful? Smash that subscribe button.